In today's video, we are going to be decluttering and organizing my fidget slime and squishmallow collection. This is going to be quite the task. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if this process took me about three hours to finish. I have all of my squishmallows behind me, all of my slimes, all my fidgets. They're all in one space right now, and it's just a crazy rainbow jumbled mess at the moment. My goal for today isn't necessarily to downsize my collection. However, it has been a year since I've done one of these videos, and so I am sure that there are definitely some items that I could part with, especially slimes, because those only stay good for so long. I know last year I found some moldy ones and some that were just like, ugh, not it. Any that I wanna part with, I will be putting in this brown box right here. I'm going to be donating or giving away the items that I no longer want as long as they are in decent shape. I probably won't be getting rid of too many Squishmallows because how could you say no to this face? I am physically attached to almost every Squishmallow in my collection. But guys, before we get started, I have a challenge for all of you watching. I want to see if you guys can like, click subscribe, and turn on post notifications in just five seconds. I hope you guys are ready because here goes the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. If you guys were successfully able to complete the five second challenge and I want you to comment down below. Hmm. Do you collect anything? If so, let me know what it is in the comments below. Anyways, without further ado, let's get straight into this video and start decluttering. Do you guys think that this box will be full by the end of this video? Woo! My head is spinning right now. Where do we start? I don't know. I'm thinking it might be best to start with Squishmallows because I literally cannot access the drawers to my fidget collection because, well, yeah, they're taking over. So let's get to work. Even though it's a lot, I have to say, this is the most fun mess I've ever seen in my life. I bought an extra drawer organizer because we're going to need it. I got so many new slimes recently. They're all Halloween themed. And yes, I know it is no longer Halloween. I have not had a chance to put these away. And it's almost Christmas time. Well, in my world it is. That's why I have Christmas nails. So we'll get to those later. But first, we need to tackle this mess of Squishmallows. Are you guys ready for the craziness to start? Woo! <laughs> Gonna take a deep breath because... This looks very overwhelming right now, but we're gonna take it one step at a time. Obviously, I'm keeping ham. He is my favorite thing ever. He's the largest Squishmallow in my collection. Woo! That's his spot. By the way, I'm going to be lining my Squishmallow collection up along this wall because there's just not enough room for them over by my fidgets. It looks like too much. Oh my gosh, how cute is this mouse? I got him from Claire's the other day when I was with Callie. I have never seen him anywhere else before. I feel like he might be rare. So he's going to stay. Honestly, I think I'm going to part with this gray dog. Um, I'm just not a fan of this Squishmallow size. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna put him in the box. I'm looking to see if there's others that I wanna part with while I'm down here. I'm also gonna get rid of this one. I got him from a Squishmallow mystery Easter egg. And please tell me if you disagree, but I don't think he looks like a Squishmallow, like at all. I mean, it is a Squishmallow as you can see with the tag, but yeah, I'm gonna part with him. Also this Frappuccino, I think I also got this one in a mystery Squishmallow blind bag. So it's like, you really don't know what you're gonna get. And if you don't like it, well, oh well, it was a mystery bag, so. Goodbye, see you later. Here's another one that I think someone else might enjoy more. Okay, here's some more of those little ones. Um. Okay, so I think this is supposed to be like a Christmas ornament. Okay, I'll hang him on my tree this year. I was about to get rid of him, but I changed my mind. This koala we're going to part with. So you toss him in there. And it's a win-win, you guys, because I'll be making some other people super happy with the Squishmallows. And then I'll also have room for some new ones. I am debating on if I should keep this guy or not. I've never been the biggest fan of dragons, but I know someone who loves dragons, and that's Callie. So I think I'm gonna give this one to her and it's brand new so I could even surprise her with it for Christmas. I'm gonna keep digging through these and fishing out the ones that I don't want. And then after that, it'll give me the green light to just put this in time-lapse and line the rest up against the wall. Oh, there's some hiding back here. You can't hide for long, guys. They're like, don't get rid of me, don't get rid of me. <laughs> Luckily, I actually do wanna keep all those. So here's another one. I'm not sure what he is, you guys. I thought it was a duck, but ducks don't have tails like that. What is he? I am not sure. I remember I got this when I ordered someone else's Squishmallow collection off of Mercari. 
Um, I think I'm gonna give this to Kelly or someone else. Also, this purple badger. Is it a badger or a squirrel? What is he? Wait, is this a duplicate? Oh my gosh, I have two of these. I didn't even realize. Just another reason to part with one. This is the last one that I'm going to be giving away. It's like this tie-dye summery looking octopus mini squishmallow. So, okay, not too shabby. I didn't get rid of like a crap ton, but I think I did a good job. So the rest of these are going to go up against my wall right now. <laughs> lined up against the wall and I really just want to jump into them. I'm obviously not going to do that, but they just look so colorful and fluffy and fun. While I was organizing these, I totally forgot that I had these tiny baby squishmallows and they're scattered throughout my collection. So there's one, two, and I know there's a third one somewhere. If you guys see it before me, let me know. Oh wait, I just found it. Little fox. I think they're so cute. Make sure you let me know in the comments what your favorite Squishmallow is. So now that we're done organizing my Squishmallow collection, we are going to move on to my fidgets and slimes, which as you can see, these take up the majority of the space in my loft. So we're just gonna start from the very beginning and then we're gonna go all the way around until we get over here to this empty organizer, which will be filled with slimes eventually. And P.S., if you guys are wondering what was inside of these extra drawer organizers, these were actually all made by me. So if you didn't know, I have my own lip balm brand called Lipsest. I've been making these for eight years, which is crazy. And I've made thousands of flavors, so they needed to be organized. I wanted to organize them by color because I think it looks so satisfying. And in case you were wondering, you could find these on my Etsy shop. It's called Purple Stars of two look this one was actually inspired by my youtube channel it's called fan mail freak out in birthday cake pop and i made that one because right over here yep i have a fan mail room and every time i walk in here i freak out it's my favorite room ever i'm always making seasonal flavors too like this one is called grinch who pudding for christmas time i've got really weird flavors in here this was from the Visco Girl collection. I believe I made this in 2019. It says Weird Flex, but okay, in avocado toast. And yes, it really does smell like avocado toast. So if you guys want me to do an entire video on my lip sets, let me know because I would be happy to do a collection tour of these and go through like all the flavors. So if that's something you'd be interested in, let me know by commenting the kiss emoji. Again, you can find these on Etsy. My shop name is Purple Stars 2 but back to the land of fidgets and slimes. And let me grab this box too before we really get into it because I don't wanna take a hike every time I'm gonna get rid of something. This is what we're parting with so far. I think we're doing pretty well. But okay guys, so in here, I have all of my foam stress balls. Some of these might look like squishies, like this horse, but it is not satisfying in the slightest. It's very stiff. Look, I'll show you the difference. This is a slow rising soft squishy. This is not. I'm going to take out all of these drawers. Some are like really, really full like this one. Sometimes it'll get stuck whenever I try to close it back up again. Ew, guys, look what I just found under the drawer. It's not real, I promise. It's one of Karen's cockroaches. If you know, you know. Um, Yeah, OGs know. We're gonna put him over there. Actually, let's put him in the uh, donate bin. I'm sure everyone's gonna want that. Ew, it looks so real right there. Anyway, okay, let's go get down to business. I'm just gonna pour all these out. Oh, there's a little popcorn that was stuck in there. I'm going to look to see if there's any that I don't want. I love this pastel cake. It reminds me of springtime and tea parties. He's really cute. We'll keep him. We'll keep the little ladybug. We have a bomb. <laughs> okay, this is honestly nothing special. It's just like a toasted bun. I'm gonna get rid of that. Here's a Minnie Mouse toast. 
an M&M squishy cookie, a Shopkins lipstick. Her face low-key looks really creepy. Guys, I think we should get rid of her because look at her neck. It's literally ripped. So bye, Little Mermaid. I hope you have a good second life. All right, cupcake, shooting star, panda donuts. Um, do I want this? I like you a lot, Tay. Ah, I guess I'll keep it. Um, ice cream, a jack-o'-lantern, a panda. I didn't even know I had this, guys. It's the tiniest little cake pop that you've ever seen. I love that. We have a little tooth. Um, oh, okay, this guy actually belongs over here with my foam stress balls. Watermelon, rainbow. Here's a little slow-rising cat. Hot dog. This is a DIY squishy that one of you guys gave to me. It's so cute. It's supposed to look like an ice cream cone narwhal, and I think it's so creative. So we're going to keep that because it makes me think of you guys. I think I am going to be keeping the rest of these. I got this one such a long time ago. It is so satisfying. It's a panda. Comment below if you have any squishies at home, and if so, what is your most favorite one? I've been wanting to do a really big squishy unboxing, so if that's something you guys would want to see, let me know. Oh, you know what? This money, I just realized this money is not slow rising at all. I think it would definitely be better if I put it in this drawer. Okay, so I did a little bit of decluttering, nothing too crazy with these drawers, um, but I'm going to put these back and then we're going to move on to these stress balls and I have a lot of them, so hang tight. Two seconds later. I tried to keep the smaller squishies in the middle drawer and then the larger ones at the bottom. I think it just makes more sense and it's easier to find things that way. We're gonna close those. And like I said, we're going to move on to these stress ball drawers. So in this top drawer, we have my water bead stress balls. I always say Orby stress balls, but I think most people refer to them as water bead stress balls. It doesn't really matter. But guys, this is one of my favorite drawers of my entire collection. These are so, so, so satisfying. I don't think I'm going to be parting with really any of these, but let's take a look. I recently got this black one from Mrs. Bench for Halloween. And it's really cool because there's a little white ghost hiding in there and you have to try to find them. See, I found them. See, it's deceiving because at first glance you'd think, eh, it's just like a boring looking stress ball. But no, there's a hidden gem in there, quite literally. We've got this adorable little caterpillar. How could you say no to that face? We have this yellow water beach stress ball. Now, I feel like this is sort of large to be in this drawer. So I'm thinking of maybe putting it over here with my jumbo size stress balls. Yeah. Now there's just more space in here. This looks like it's literally going to break any second. I think I'm going to get rid of him. I got him from a Walmart Halloween fidget advent calendar. Um, comment a pumpkin emoji if you guys watched that video. But it's just stressing me out because he is going to break. Like, he is going to be decapitated. He was not very good quality anyway. We have this monster. Wow. That is so ultra satisfying. I'm obsessed with this one. Look at this blue shark. It's so gorgeous. I love the beads in there. It's mesmerizing. We have classic rainbow, the strawberry. Oh my gosh, I got this little frog from a vending machine. He used to have rainbow Orbeez just like this stress ball, but somehow they got all mushed and crushed up. He looks really pretty though. He almost has like a nice marble effect to him. Listen. It sounds so good. What the heck, guys? This is, <laughs> I also got this from a vending machine. It's supposed to be a pile of poop. Like, I know I'm not a child. However, I don't know what kid would get this and be like, oh my gosh, I got the poop one. I've never understood that. Like, why? Just why? I really didn't get rid of any of these, but I'm going to put these back. I more so just gave you guys a tour of the ones that I have. I didn't really change anything up. Now for mesh balls. Now, again, I don't think that I have to do much with this drawer. It is not overflowing. However, I know that there is a blue mesh ball that is broken in here, and I don't remember which one it is. So whichever one it is, we're going to have to throw away. It was my favorite though, so I keep putting it back in the the drawer even though I know it's broken um okay this one looks good it's not this one is it this one no how about this one no um uh oh I think it might be this one you guys get ready for an Orbeez explosion oh bad idea 
sorry i had fun with you but on the plus side this is pretty much the same thing so okay we're gonna go to the next drawer nothing needs to change with that these are my dna ball fidgets i already know i'm not gonna get rid of any of these so i'm not going to waste our time Honestly, I feel like the main thing that we're going to have to get rid of is slime. I have a lot of expired ones. Um, I have a lot of duplicates. So again, we'll get to that later. Okay, my food fidget drawer. This is very, very, very full. Wait, what is this doing in here? I found a random jack-o-lantern fidget in here. I think it lights up. Wait, there's a little bulb in there. It's not doing what it's supposed to do, but... Okay, this is supposed to go in here with my shaggy fidgets. I think the thing that makes this really full is containers like this. So I don't want to get rid of it necessarily though, because I think they're neat, but it's supposed to be two different types of sushi and wasabi. Then I have two of these squishy dumpling cases. I think I'm going to get rid of one because honestly, they annoy the heck out of me. I don't even know where the top of the lid is. Oh my gosh, they just get all over the place. Okay, here it is. Yeah, here's the squishy bun, here's the container. I'm gonna keep the squishy bun, but I really don't want the container. The top always comes off and it's just really annoying. All right, so let's close that up. And in the middle drawer over here, we have all sorts of different animals. And yeah, this is not overflowing, it's fine. We're going to leave well enough alone. But this drawer is crazy, you guys. So this is technically classified as my random fidget drawer. So this has a little bit of everything. I'm talking unicorn dumplings to terrifying clowns to SpongeBob SquarePants. Ew, there's a literal tongue attached to SpongeBob's face. Yeah, it doesn't get much more random than this. Um, I think I could probably part with some of these things or also kind of regroup some items. So I recently got all of these little emoji characters. But you know what I was thinking, you guys? Right next to my random fidget drawer, I have this drawer with snappers and spike balls, marble and mesh, acupressure rings, and much more. I feel like these little emoji people would fit nicely in here. I am just going to move a couple of things around to make some room. This drawer isn't like terribly disorganized or anything. I mean, literally, it's just a matter of moving a few pieces around. I'd say that I use this drawer of fidgets the least, but there's a lot of OG fidget toys in here. And now I'm gonna have way more space in my random fidget drawer. The bottom of these literally do feel like marble and mesh. Wow, now we've got a lot of emoji people. It's literally the first thing you see. Yeah, that's my face too. That is also my reaction to <laughs> this drawer. So we're gonna close that up. I I do not want this. This was also from that Halloween fidget advent calendar. I'm not gonna lie, like that was fun to open, yes, but I got a lot of very cheaply made things from that video, so I am going to get rid of that. These SpongeBob and Patrick yo-yos are just so iconic and they remind me of fidget hunting at gumball machines, so even though they're kind of deflated, they just make me smile, so I'm gonna keep them. I feel like I should put this little pop pastry bear in either my fidget food drawer or my fidget animal drawer. Which do you think would make more sense? I mean, he is an animal, so it would make sense for him to go in here, but it would also make sense for him to go up here because he's a Pop-Tart. Gosh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna stick him in here, but let me know your thoughts. So we have this little spike ball pen. I feel like I should put it in here because look, it matches the other spike balls. I have so many of these fashion fidget dolls that I don't think they should be in my miscellaneous drawer. I mean, I have so many of them. I literally have like a little army here. So I'm trying to fish all of them out, as you could see. And I think I'm going to relocate them. I just don't know where exactly to put them because they all have different functions. You know what I'm saying? Like she could go with my poppets because she has a poppet skirt. However, this girl that's supposed to be a mermaid, she could go in my pop tube drawer because she's half pop tube. So I, I don't know where I'm gonna put them yet. Where do you guys think I should put these? I think I'm going to put these over here. The Fidgets in here are all hard plastic. It's not like I'm putting them with stress balls or something. And the fashion fidget dolls are also made of plastic. So 
that is what we're gonna do. We're just doing a little regrouping here. Okay, we're making some progress. I think the rest of the items are absolutely 100% random, so they can stay in here where they belong. I mean, guys, ah, he's so gross. There is that. Now look. That is so nice. I could pull out this drawer and nothing is scraping the top. Okay, we got nine drawers down and many more to go. Now for pop tubes. I don't really think I'm gonna need to do anything with this drawer. I don't go to this drawer very often, so I'm just gonna leave those alone. Now for this middle drawer. I have been wanting to switch around a few things in here for a while. So the theme with this drawer is mostly like puzzles. We have Rubik's cubes in here. I don't know where they are, but trust me, they're somewhere. Yep, here's one right here. We have a mini one here. Fidget cubes. Fidget spinners. First, I want to fish out these magnet beads and I'm going to relocate them because they're always so hard to get to. They're shoved at the bottom and I'm going to be putting them in a different drawer. I think these mini magnets would be better off in here with my tiny fidgets. It just makes sense. These are tiny and so are the fidgets in this drawer. That looks so much better. This just needs to be reorganized. I'm going to take the entire thing out and just dump it, guys. Yeah, there is a lot going on in here. I'm also going to try to decide if any of these should go in my random fidget drawer instead. These are supposed to be mostly like puzzle type fidgets, like this color shift ball, for example, and obviously like the Rubik's Cube and these little mazes. Should this go in my random fidget drawer? I think that it should. I'm going to put this little rainbow star in there. I'm also gonna put the skateboard in the random drawer of fidgets. <laughs> right now. I wanted to take a minute to see if there was anything from this drawer that I want to get rid of because I do have quite a lot of stuff in it. What is this? This is neat. It's like a snake. I didn't even know I had this. This definitely belongs in my animal drawer though. Oh my gosh, my mini crazy eight ball. Okay, let's ask it a question. How about will I get to 4 million subscribers by the end of the year? Let's see what it says. Not likely. Let's prove this crazy eight ball wrong. Guys, if you're watching this and you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. I would seriously appreciate it so much. I don't even remember getting this. Seriously, I'm not just saying this. There are so many fidgets that I am just discovering that I had for the first time. Like, I don't remember a lot of these. I'm not going to keep the second one. There is no need. This is the tiniest little fidget spinner you've ever seen. I actually have a lot of those little mini ones. Somehow I have three fidget hourglasses and I like all of them for different reasons. I don't really think I want to get rid of any. This looks like a lava lamp almost. Gosh, they are so cool. We are officially done with this drawer and it was harder than I thought it would be to organize everything um, because there's just so much variety in here and I could only stack so many cubes. So it looks a little crazy still, but it's a lot better than what I started with. Inside of this next drawer, we have a combination of two different types of fidgets. We have these super adorable bubble blowing ones. I mean, how could you resist that? I am not going to be getting rid of any of those. And then the second half of the drawer are full of these pop-up fidgets. I'm not even going to touch those. There's no issues with it being overcrowded or anything. So, And then the next two drawers down are filled with extra large fidgets. Now, oh my gosh, did you guys just see that? Look, the drawer is starting to tip over because there's just so much going on in here. I'm gonna see if there's any that I'm willing to part with. Um, I'd really hate to use up a third drawer for these, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't even really go to these fidgets very often. So I'm just gonna take them all out and I'm gonna see if I could either relocate some of these or just part with them, you know? Oh my gosh, I forgot about this. Is that a hole? No. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm not going to mess with it because 
I don't know if you could see that white stuff. Yeah, that's what it's filled with. Oh my gosh, that's so sad. I love, 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 love my blue dough ball. So I'm not going to get rid of that. There's no way. He's safe. Okay, I have two stress balls that look like this. They kind of have like a marble effect. This one reminds me of like a fire breathing dragon. I don't need both of them. I really don't. So it just comes down to which one do I like more? I think I like the more colorful one more. So we're going to get rid of that. I also have this Orby stress ball that looks super... It looks like it's deflated somehow, but it's very satisfying. So I don't want to get rid of it. You know what, guys? Okay, so I got these two Orbeez filled fruit fidgets from Learning Express like a while ago. And they're just not my favorite. Honestly, I think I'm going to say goodbye to them and rehome them. Oh my gosh, there's a hole in here. <gasps> Do you guys see that? It's leaking. Oh my gosh. I guess that means, you know, inevitably I'm going to have to get rid of this one too. That just happened that's so sad okay well it seems like we're not gonna have any issues fitting all these stress balls in these two drawers now because we just got rid of like four of them we did a good job okay guys that was easy we did a little decluttering and now we can actually open the drawers so now for my mochis guys <laughs> these are just so cute and yes i'm sure that there are some in here that are doubles or you know something of the sorts but i don't know they're not bothering anyone they're harmless they're cute and honestly in my opinion the more the merrier like it is so satisfying touching these i'm obsessed with mochis i'm gonna just leave that drawer alone um and then in here we have random stress balls oh wow wait this used to be a dough ball the dough inside is completely hard can you hear that I wonder if this one's hard too. <gasps> oh yeah, these have seen better days. So goodbye. I think I have an orange one too. Dang it, they're all bad. I need to get new ones. This is sort of like my random fidget drawer, except these are all different types of stress balls. Oh wait, so this, this stress ball right here should go in my water-based fidget drawer. Whoa, we're gonna have to go through that later. But okay, now we're gonna get down to business because the last drawer in here is so full of slimes. Like I think most of these are store-bought slimes, but there's so many slimes in here that it's almost hard to open and close. So I am going to take out all of them and I'm gonna be doing a little bit of reorganizing with my slimes. 12 seconds later. I emptied out the drawer. I'm going to just leave it empty for now. I also still have to bring over that empty drawer organizer and I'm gonna bring it over here. So you know what, wait, I just had an idea. I'm going to move this drawer over to the end and then we're going to put slimes and putties in here so that it's next to the rest of the slimes. Let's just swap some things around and then we'll start going through these slimes, which is gonna be a process. <sighs> okay, we are done with that. So now we have the fresh drawer organizers right over here and we're gonna get down to business, guys. I have been needing to regroup, reorganize and declutter my slime collection for such a long time. So down here, we have all of my Nicole Jacqueline slimes. In the middle drawer here, we've got a mix of quite a few different slime companies. There's Slime Before Time, Dope Slime, Cam Slime Shop, and many more. And then in the top drawer, these are exclusively Kawaii slimes, and I'm absolutely obsessed with these. These are like my favorite slimes ever. Um, I think they are so cute and fun. And look, the caps are starting to get crushed and things are spilling. It's a mess. So I'm going to use two drawers for my Kawaii slime collection, especially because, look guys, there's so many Halloween ones over here that I need to put away. Um, yeah, again, <laughs> in case you forgot... I have all of these to put away as well. So there's a lot happening right now. Oh, I can't believe I still have this. No offense, Dollar Tree, but your glitter slime is just not it. So goodbye. Rainbow dough. Is this still good? Let's see. 
I mean, yeah, it's still good. This looks like it's dried out because it's sticking to the side. It's called Crystal Mine Jewel Putty. Yeah, so half of it is dried out. It's just not good anymore. So I am going to be throwing this away. All good things must come to an end. All good things must expire. Ooh, crazy errands. Okay, so I'm going to group all of my crazy errands together. I really want to get more of them. I think they're so fun, but my only complaint is that they are so hard to open up. Like I almost always break a nail trying to get into the tin. Okay, this is my favorite store-bought slime. Well, I actually got it from Mrs. Bench's fidget store. It's fishbowl slime. It's just so unique. I love it. So that's not going anywhere. Gummy bear slime, we'll keep that. I haven't even opened this yet, wow. And I think everything else is good. Now for the Nicole Jacqueline slimes. So Nicole is so sweet, she's always sending me all her new slimes. Um, So that means that I have quite a few duplicates. I am going to be getting rid of the duplicates. I will be giving them away to somebody else as long as they are still in good condition. Because a lot of these guys, I've had them for a while. Like, do you see the color contrast with cookie dough? Um, I have a feeling this is no longer good, but I'm going to test it out before I get rid of it. So I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but it's just gotten very liquidy at the bottom. And it's not Nicole's fault. This just happens to slimes over time. So I am going to be getting rid of this one. And plus, I have another cookie dough slime from her. So it's all good. But it looks like a poopy, chocolatey mess. Creepy croissant. This doesn't look liquidy. It looks like it just needs activated. Like there's a difference between something that needs activated and something that's literally just, you know, not good anymore. Oreo crust is still in good shape. Vampire blood. Look at all of those fun little Fimo slices and charms at the bottom. I love that one. Levin's egos. Oh my gosh. Who remembers when Stranger Things was like the thing? I actually can't wait for season six to come out. Or is it season five? I can't remember. I think it's five actually, season five. Wow, the fact that this still looks like it's perfectly fine. She gave this to me in 2021. Like, it's about to be 2024. It's strawberries and cream cheesecake. Cookie dough, another cookie dough, but oh no! Look, guys, we found our first moldy slime. <gasps> okay, time to say bye-bye. Strawberries and cream cheesecake. Okay, so I already saw this one in my collection, and I don't want any duplicates, so I think we're going to get rid of this one because it's older. Sour by Olivia Rodrigo. This is so iconic. She needs to make a guts. Or wait, she did. I need that one. Cake batter party. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. Spooky scary skeletons. This pumpkin spice latte one is no longer good, unfortunately. I have so many activators in this drawer and I don't like how they're just sitting around. I'm going to try to organize those differently. Oh no, guys, I found another one that's starting to mold. M&M cookie dough. Aw, oh, man. Okay, so we're gonna have to get rid of that one too. Okay, guys, so we have officially gone through all of the Nicole Jacqueline slimes. So I'm hoping that I will have enough room for these new ones now. I'm going to bring them down here. I am going to do a time lapse of me putting these away. Um, Cause sometimes it's really hard to like talk and be entertaining while organizing and concentrating. So you can enjoy this little time lapse starting now. I got really lucky. Literally every single Nicole Jacklin slime ended up fitting perfectly. Like, I mean, I don't have room for one more, but look. Oh my gosh, it is so satisfying. And by the way, I totally forgot to show these to you guys. They were actually sitting over there on top of my drawer organizers. So Nicole came over to my house a few months ago to collab and she made me these really cool custom slimes that you can actually find on her shop. It's shopnicolejacqueline.com. This is called Kayla's Target Shopping Cart and there's all kinds of fun charms in there of different items that I would get on a shopping spree. There's Kayla's Unicorn Frappe, purple starzo to official slime and many more so i love these slimes so much and i'm so happy that i did some decluttering some reorganizing and now it's actually perfect now we're going to tackle this drawer right here so like i mentioned before we have lots of different brands in here so 
I am just going to take any slimes out that are not dope slimes, okay? And I'm either going to make this drawer just like full of dope slimes only because I know I have a lot of them, or I'm going to make it like dope slimes plus whatever brand I have the most of. And I think that might be slime before time, but I don't know. Here's Cam Slime Shop. I'd like to use one of these drawers for just homemade slime shops. I hate whenever I find like add-ins or baggies just mixed in here. It drives me crazy. Like I need to have a different spot for those. I don't like when they're just all over the place. A subscriber made me this, Star Fam Forever Slime. Fair and Mal. Oh no. Okay, so as you guys could see, this one has turned into like almost pure liquid in the middle. So I'm gonna have to get rid of this one, unfortunately. Fair and Mal. Oh yeah, guys, look at all the liquid. So sad. I hate throwing slimes away, but it's not safe to keep them once they get like moldy or watery. They're kind of beyond repair, you know? We have Slice of Heaven that was made by a subscriber inspired by my favorite lip cess lip balm. Cam Slime Shop. I love this girl. She is so sweet and so talented. I met her at Mrs. Bench's store grand opening. Hey, speaking of Mrs. Bench, Fidget Toys Plus limited edition birthday cake. By the way, please forgive me if you hear my birds squawking in the background. They're very loud and I'm so sorry if you hear them. I think it's all dope slimes now. I actually went through my dope slimes not too long ago and surprisingly, none of them are bad. Like, I don't know how it's possible. All right, guys, so these are all good now, but I was thinking, okay, so obviously I have a ton of these kawaii slimes and while they do fit in the drawer, I don't know. I feel like I should probably have a second drawer for them. So I might put the overflow in here. So I'm going to close that up for now. And we're going to do kawaii slimes last, I think. So we are going to start putting these slime before time slimes in one of the new drawers. And now Cam's slime shop. We're going to put those away. Hopefully this is a good method and they will all fit. Here's another slime before time. This isn't really a homemade slime. It's an Amazon slime. I'm not gonna count that as homemade. I'm gonna put it over there. We have some homemade slimes that you guys made me. Kayla's crystal ball. I got this from the sweetest subscriber at my most recent meet and greet. Okay, that is so much better. And now guys, since I have a little bit of space in here, I'm going to put all of my activator sprays and sticks right over here in this corner. Perfect. Okay, we are done with that. Now I'm going to put away all of my putties and store-bought slimes. I just found some homemade slimes that I forgot about. They were mixed in with my store-bought ones. So no problem. We have plenty of room in this drawer now, which is amazing. drawer is done. Last but certainly not least, we are going to be moving on to my favorite slime drawer of all, kawaii slimes. Look how gorgeous they look. So I could almost guarantee you none of these are bad yet because they're all under a year old for the most part. So we're just going to take them out and we have to organize these better. And like I mentioned before, I am going to be putting the overflow in this drawer with the dope slimes. And by the way, you guys, I actually have two empty drawers right now, which is actually a good thing because I always need more space. And who knows, I might be utilizing those. We still have a lot of collection to go through. So yeah, but okay, let's see. We have the baby axolotl kawaii slime, fuzzy pink poodle, diamond clear slime. I love this one. This is Danish butter slime. This was one of my first ones and I did mix the charms in, but um, I don't do that anymore. Oh my gosh, sour cream and onion slime dip. Talk about 
unique. I'm going to see how many kawaii slimes I could fit comfortably in this drawer. I really don't want to stack them if I don't have to because look what happens to the lids. They get indented and it makes me so sad. Let's see what we can do. guys I am absolutely obsessed with how this looks I never want to stack these again because it is so much easier for me to just grab whichever one I want now because I could see them clearly you know before they were just a jumbled mess so I have most of them laid out in this top drawer and then also I did have some space right here so I put my smaller kawaii slimes in those spaces how fun is this? It's literally a pickle jar that smells like pickles. Love this shop. Now what we're going to do is we are going to put the extra ones over here with the dope slimes. Actually, I have an idea. I don't like stacking the ones that have the tall lids on top of the other. So I'm going to put the flatter ones down first. And I think that'll be a better plan of action. Hopefully we will see. Oh my God. Gosh, I love this one. It's cotton candy ice cream. Oh, it's amazing, you guys. I'm not sure I'm gonna have room for all of them, actually. I'm gonna try, but look, there's like six left. A little longer than a few minutes later. Update, I found a solution. It took a few minutes, but okay, so we didn't have to do any stacking. Look, we have kawaii slimes up here. We have kawaii slimes down there. And now all the lids can stay in place and not pop off. And then I decided to put some kawaii slimes in this drawer. I put the ones without the giant plastic lids in here so that they're easily stackable, as well as the little mason jar ones and the soda cans. I think that it looks really, really good now. And I am so happy that all of my slimes fit. Two seconds later. Oh no, guys, I totally forgot about the Halloween kawaii slimes. And there are even more over here. I was just so preoccupied with what I was doing that I forgot to look around me. Um, This slime, what the heck? I don't even know where its cap is. It was from Five Below and it was never good. I'm getting rid of that. I will keep these two though. It's a s'more slime and a cake frosting one. So so these can go in my store-bought slime drawer. There's just enough space. Boom. There we go. But we have so many kawaii slimes, you guys. It's crazy. I am just going to utilize this space. There's nothing in it right now. So... Okay. We're just gonna leave well enough alone and shut that drawer. Wow, oh wait, there's one more. It's a purple Starzo 2 frappe slime that was made by a subscriber. So that means it's gonna go in the homemade slime drawer. Okay, wow, um, that was a lot of work. I'm actually sweating right now and I need to go put on deodorant. Moving on, we have my poppets and my dimples. So my dimples are up here. And in case you don't know what these are, basically they're like poppets, except they have a hard outer shell. So, okay, right off the bat, I see that I sort of have a duplicate. I mean, kind of, sort of, because they're the same type of fidget. They're just different colors. So I'm only going to keep one for myself. Since pink is my favorite color, I'm going to keep the pink one and I'm going to get rid of this one. But I'm going to close up that drawer. And then we have all of my three dimensional poppets in here so that includes poppet balls these 3d animal poppets i've got a unicorn i have a dinosaur i've got a poppet purse a poppet pencil case you name it i probably have it in here we're gonna leave that alone and then we have poppets in here poppets in here poppets in here i'm going to dump out these drawers and we're going to see if there's any that i want to part with i'm not going to do my dimples or my 3d poppets because they're not overly full and so we're just going to focus on the other drawers wow there's a lot like 
a lot. Now let's do this one. See how the drawers get stuck when I try to open them? That is not okay. And now let's do this one. Three, two, one, timber. Woo! I got my work cut out for me. Look at all these puppets. Oh my gosh. I put you guys up in my tripod because my arm feels like it's actually going to fall off. So I'm just going to take a handful and go through these and see, are we keeping them? Are we not? Bunch of bananas, yes. Umbrella, heck yes. It's so unique and I'm obsessed with rain. So there's no way I'm parting with that. Peppa Pig. Here, I'll get it. <laughs> nice, Dan, that hurts. Ew. That's gross. Can you guys make a good pig noise? Cause I don't need Peppa Pig. So I'm gonna give this to a kid who does like Peppa Pig. I do not need this video game controller pop it. It's cheaply made. As you can see, the plastic is kind of like slanted. Um, we're gonna give that to someone else. Oh my gosh, what are these trucks called? I can't think of the name. Oh, Dan. Pointing me to my nose feel weird. Yeah, I know, I don't like doing it. What is this called? Oh, that is called, that's not a dump truck. That is rather, it's not a crane. What is it? I think it is a crane. Babe, no, a crane, no. Guys, do you know is what this an is? Yeah. yeah. Okay, is Dan right? Comment below. We're gonna do a little game called yay or nay. So if I pick up a poppet that I like, I'm gonna say yay. And if I'm getting rid of it, I'm gonna say nay. Yay. <laughs> nay. Yay. Yay. Oh, I'm so happy I found this. People are always commenting the yellow heart emoji and I didn't think I had that in my collection, but apparently I do. Nay, yeah, we're gonna part with this. I have so many mini poppets with keychains. I'm sick of them. Yay, that's cute. Yay, unique. Yay, it's Mickey Mouse, duh. Ah, I don't need this. It does remind me of a very berry fruit roll-up, however, which is cool. This is so cute. It's an Easter bunny, orange octagon, I think. One, two, three, four. Oh, never mind. It's a hexagon. A hexagon has six sides. An octagon has eight sides. A pentagon has five sides. Oh, this pop, it's horrible. Look, I try to push in the buttons and it comes right back out. Oh, wow. Yeah, absolutely not. Dragon fruit, a rainbow square. We have a foot, rainbow unicorn. We'll keep that. We just got rid of a unicorn. This box is actually so full, I can't even lift it. I am very proud of us. We did a good job. This is a pop it game with dice. Devils roll their dice. Oh, the two bobas. I need them. Here's a bunch of mini poppets. Honestly, they're very basic. I am going to get rid of them. We are almost done with the poppets. We got rid of like a lot. I think we got rid of at least 20, which is honestly really good in my opinion. So I'm gonna put the larger ones down first so that it's easier to find the smaller ones. Do I need this? Yeah, I do. Here's another pretty big one. This is Mickey Mouse head. I have a lot of Mickey Mouse ones. I didn't even realize how many I had. We have a police car, a snowman, which you know what? I have so many snowmen. We're gonna give this one away. See, look. Here's another snowman. And I already put a bunch of other snowmen away. This is an evil eye or so I think. I mean, honestly, if it's not an evil eye, please tell me what this is. Cause I genuinely have no idea. I don't want any of these little ones. Bye bye. Bye bye bye. All right, look at guys. Look at this. I can easily open these drawers now without any overcrowded issues. I am so happy. And look at all this stuff that we're getting rid of. So, okay, there's the Shaggy Fidgets, the PBJs, and the Neatos, which are all good. We're not gonna go through those. These are all of my water-based fidgets. And this is about to pop, like, oh my gosh, this is freaking me out. I cannot have it in there anymore. I mean, it's a matter of, like, days or even hours. 
Can someone please explain the science behind why these water snakes expand and then pop no matter what? Like, no matter what. Every time I buy them, that happens. Maybe I should stop getting them. I don't know. Um, but all right. So this is like a huge one. It's the biggest one in the drawer. We have these little water bottle fidgets. They're really cool. I have four of them. Let me find the other two. They're somewhere. They got all discolored for some reason. I don't know what happened, but there's also a green one in here. Oh, here it is. Wait, huh? I'm so confused. Because all I know is that when I first bought these, they were pink, yellow, green, and blue. I think the blue turned purple and the green turned blue. I don't know. That's pretty cool though. This, this isn't really water-based, honestly. It's like just glitter. So I'm going to put this in here. That'll free up some space in here for sure. We have another water snake that, um, actually this one looks okay. I was going to say it looks like it's going to burst, but, uh... It looks like it's okay. It'll live for a little bit longer. This is a pearl water stress ball. These are called two flipping cute. So it flips from a burger into fries. Even though, yes, technically this is water based on the inside, it just does not go with the theme of this drawer, if I'm being perfectly honest. So we're going to put this in my food fidget drawer because I think it would be better off in there. Now we have a smiley face water stress ball. A cool dude one that I got at the beach. <laughs> this is cute. It's a little panda. Look how satisfying that is. I love that. Let me just get the rest of these out. Um, I don't really want this, honestly. I think I'm going to get rid of it. It's just not, it's not doing anything for me. Oh my gosh, look how gorgeous. You're so gorgeous. Can't say anything to your face. Okay, this one. Oh, that's cool. It's gold. I thought it was just orange at first. Wait, can you guys see that? That's pretty. Ooh, okay, so this could totally either stay in the water-based fidget drawer or it could go in my DNA ball drawer because these are little DNA balls. What do you guys think? So I'm going to keep the rest of these. Um, now let's put them back and hopefully it'll be a little bit less crowded. I love these little octopus. They're adorable. I tried to put the bigger fidgets on the bottom and the smaller ones on top. This should have never been at the bottom because it has a better chance of exploding. You know what I'm saying? So, okay, that is done. So now we have the noodle drawer. And honestly, I could tell you right now, I don't plan on getting rid of any of these because think about it. Even if I got rid of like a monkey noodle or a couple monkey noodles, like, I mean, the more the merrier with these because it's all about texture and oh, just, it's so satisfying doing this. Um, but that's the last time I'm gonna do this so freely because you know what's about to happen. I'm going to dump these and I'm going to organize them a little bit nicer. So it looks so cool right now. So I'm going to put the ramen with the ramen, the monkey noodles with the monkey noodles, and then these little animal noodles will be grouped together as well. So let's get started. It's all nice and organized. So now we're moving on to the very last drawer, which also needs some organizing done. So in here, we have a lot of like hard plasticky fidgets. So we have these snakes, wacky tracks. Um, whoa, that's a, a long wacky track. We've got tangles. This just so happens to be a golden tangle. Um, and then we have so many of these fashion fidget dolls that I just added today. Um, what is this doing in here? I feel like this should definitely go in my puzzle drawer. Um, yeah, look, it literally says Rubik's. This is like more so a Rubik's cube puzzly type fidget. So, okay. There's also zipper bracelets in here. And I think that's about everything. So, oh my gosh, this is just a little ASMR moment. You guys ready? Okay, if that was satisfying to you, I want you to comment exactly five hard eye emojis down below, okay? Now let's get started and organize these.
Okay, so we are done organizing these. And while I was doing it, I did find a whole bunch of duplicates. So I just wanted to show those to you guys real quick. Oh, wait, this is not a duplicate. I put this aside because, again, it would be better off in the puzzle fidget drawer. Um, but yeah, these are all duplicates or little odds and ends that I do not want. So the final drawer is organized and decluttered. And now we can slide it back in. Woo! Oh my gosh, guys. After four and a half hours, we are finally done organizing and decluttering. If you guys liked this video and found it satisfying, then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also guys, please stay tuned because following this video, I'm going to be posting my collection tour. So I'll be showing you all of my slimes, all my fidgets, all my squishmallows in one video. It's going to be long, it's going to be satisfying, and I think you guys are going to love it. This was a lot of work, so I'm gonna go get a snack and a uh, random question. If you guys could have anything to eat right now, what would it be? I love you guys to the moon and back. Thank you again for watching and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye. Mwah.